Hey everybody, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener, and I wanted to give you a quick update on my pear trees that I've grown from seed that are actually 46 months old today. You'll recall that I started these seeds from store-bought D'Anjou pears on July 10th, 2016. Let's go take a look at them. So we're gonna start with the least healthiest of the bunch. And the reason why I'm starting with this one is because I wanna start them off in the order of least healthiest to most healthiest. Now, a lot of you have pointed out, and it is the case, I have my dryer exhaust right there. And during the hot summers, and even in the winters, it blows hot air out of here, which actually harms this pear tree. Ironically, pears do need a lot of sub-freezing temperatures in order to even ever flower or fruit. So I'm gonna imagine that even if we had enough frost nights because of that dryer exhaust, we're probably never, ever, ever gonna get any fruit from this tree. It'll be more ornamental more than anything. That being said, it has struggled every year because of the conditions it's subjected to, being against the brick, being next to the exhaust. We didn't plan this one out, but I wanted to see having three in three different parts of the yard how they all would perform second biggest problem that has become this year is my blackberry bush has taken over this section of the yard like crazy now we had a lot of wind lately and it snapped this branch and i've just left it hanging here hoping that maybe if i'm lucky some of these blackberries might ripen i doubt it i think it's a goner but good news is we've got lots of other blackberries that we'll be able to pick over the next several months as well because they're growing like crazy. But I digress. Let me go ahead and show you this guy. And yes, I know I need to de-weed it. It's on my list of things to do. You can see the trunk on this guy is stunted. The height is stunted. But he's not doing that bad as of right now. This year he's actually done his best for the early part of the year. The problem with this guy is every single mid june to august he loses a lot of his foliage and really gets stunted but he seems to do it a little bit later each year because as he matures and grows and gets a stronger root system i think the dryer vent the brick and whatever else you name it probably doesn't affect him as much because he is acclimating as each year happens at the end of the day though not a very healthy one you think about 46 months old and he's only about four and a half, five feet tall. Definitely been struggling. Definitely. Now I've topped him a few times, but other than that, he just won't send out a lot of healthy branches. This is the worst of the three. Wanted to show him to you really quick to give you an idea of what he's looking like. And for those wondering, there is no chance of my pear trees grown from seed fruiting this year, probably not even flowering or fruiting next year but maybe in the next couple years. Again, this is the worst of the bunch. Just wanted to show them off in the beginning of this video. Now that we've seen this one, let's move on to the second best one that is 46 months old. So you recall the video that I planted this guy on this side of the yard. We had my second apple tree grown from seed that perished in this spot because a rabbit had eaten all of its trunk away and once it died I removed it and planted this one. We'll start at the base. This trunk is at least twice as thick as the last plant and as we move up you can see that this pear tree is doing much 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 better. He's almost seven feet tall. Matter of fact he probably is seven feet tall now and he seems to be a lot healthier. I'll tell you he does have some odd things going on at the tips of his leaves but everything over here has got some odd things going on the tip of their leaves my crab apple tree over there actually which is about 12 years old might have died I'll have to look more into that but every single one of my apple trees that had flowers this year my crab apple trees I should say lost a lot of limbs even this apple tree right here I had to do a heavy pruning I think it got some kind of disease from one of the pollinators and it destroyed that crap apple tree. We lost about 30% of the foliage on this apple tree. And this guy is actually not looking that good as well. 
Now I inspected them. I don't see any aphids and this looks like it is something other than aphids that's causing the damage. It is a recent addition. It's just the small baby leaves. All the rest look okay. But at the end of the day, this is actually my second best one, mainly because of the amount of foliage and the height. I'll have to study the leaves over the next couple of weeks. This is something that just happened within the last few weeks and uh, it hasn't gotten worse, but it definitely doesn't look great. Again, seven feet tall, 46 months old. The rabbits did try to do a number on the roots this year on this one. And that's why I added some of these rocks to A, eliminate the weeds and B, keep the rabbits from eating at the base as much as they used to. Anyway, second pear tree grown from seed. Again, from D'Anjou store-bought pears. Pretty happy with the progress of this one. Now let's go to the other side of the yard and look at the healthiest of all three trees. So once again, I wanted to do a voiceover on this part because of the dog barking. First and foremost, I do need to eliminate some of this grass that's growing around this fruit tree's base. Obviously, grass and other plants near the base will give it a problem. That being said, this base is actually a lot thicker and a lot taller. Look at the height of this pear tree at only 46 months. It is at least 10 to 12 feet tall. I'm thinking it's probably closer to 12 feet, but definitely more than 10 feet. I'm pretty excited about the growth of it. I can't believe how much it's grown in 46 months. And really, the leaves on this one look a heck of a lot better than the leaves on any of the other ones. That being said, I'm still going to be monitoring the progress of these leaves over the next several weeks to make sure we don't have any other issues like we've had on the other apple and pear trees. On the top here, I'm pretty excited that we've got a nice canopy above. I like that it's got this second tier of leaves, if you will, and I'm super excited that it's growing tall. Now, I don't plan on pruning this pear tree at all. I want to keep it as tall as it is because some pear tree species do like to fruit and flower from the top. You can see it next to the peach tree behind it that I've grown from seed and it is towering. Now, one of my concerns is even though it has that second level of canopy, if you will, there's nothing down here, nothing. So one of the things I want to do is probably focus in on trying to get some secondary branches down here so that we're not getting all of the branches at nearly six feet tall. I just wanted to give you guys a long look at this one because I'm very proud of it. At 46 months, it looks great. While I have you here, I wanted to give you a quick look at the other pear trees in my yard. This is a Bartlett pear tree that I bought from a nursery when it was two years old. Now it's five years old. It has still never flowered. It did actually have a couple of flowers this year, but I didn't see any fruit sets above. Now over here, we also have another pear tree. This is my Orient pear. Now this one actually has grown quite a bit and it's six years old. We got a ton of flowers up at the top and I can't see from down here if we had any fruit sets. I'm hoping we do. Like I said, I've never got flowers on either of my pear trees that I bought from the nursery or on my pear tree that I've grown from seed. I'm hoping in future years, all three pear trees will work together and cross pollinate some pears for me. Anyway, so there you have it everyone. That's my pear trees grown from seed. As you saw, we had the Dianjou, the three that I have grown from seed that are now 46 months old. From the weakest to the second best to the best. Pretty pleased with that first one. Although I wouldn't mind seeing some lower foliage, which I may work on over the next couple years. Super excited about the Orient pear, the Bartlett pear, and the Dianjou pear tree all working in harmony over the next couple years and maybe getting some pears since I have yet to get a pear from any of my pear trees in my yard. Hopefully you enjoyed the quick update. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy gardening and thanks for watching.